Last week, the $41 million hack on Stake.com was linked to the North Korea-sponsored Lazarus Group. You may have heard about them back in 2022 when they stole $620 million from Axie Infinity by using a fake job interview. This time, the stake hack turned out to be a compromised private key to a wallet, so user funds were safe and stake seemed to not really care much about the situation. It's only $41 million. It must be a lucrative industry. Speaking of free money, social Ponzi's are back, this time in the form of apps that promise you airdrops if you use them. Frentech, which we talked about a few weeks ago, reached $12.3 million in daily volume, actually surpassing the volume of all NFTs. JPEGs are being killed by group chats. Why did we not think of this utility? Another social currency called Tipcoin turned everyone on X into Ryan Howard from The Office. Not that one, the one who says, eat fresh after every sentence. Everyone had to add dollar sign tip and add Tipcoin ETH to every post in order to earn points. And in my personal experience, it was a little fun and just the right amount of dystopian. Once you've sold all these hard earned tokens, you're gonna need an off ramp to get these funds into your bank. Last week, MetaMask introduced a feature to do exactly this for users in the US, UK, and parts of Europe. As regulators clamp down on crypto-friendly banks, at least here in the US, these off-ramps are gonna become sacred. So hopefully we don't need to appreciate this feature in the future, but I have a feeling that we will. Thanks, MetaMask. That's it for me. Be sure to like and share the post if you found this helpful. And we also have a weekly newsletter with even more interesting crypto stories that you can subscribe to at mbhq.io. Till then, see you all next week. Yeah.